How a change of scene can provide a cognitive refresh. One of the biggest challenges for anyone who works online is managing to stay productive and efficient without the external pressure of a boss breathing down their neck. This is combined with the negative influence of having all your favorite things surrounding you at any given time. Then there's the fact that you're probably going to be interrupted repeatedly by friends and family. Or how about the challenge of switching off from work once you've finished, given that you actually work and live in the same environment? If any of these things sound familiar, then stay tuned. We're going to discuss one of the most effective solutions and one of the best ways to upgrade your productivity working online. Working from home doesn't have to mean working from home. Working from home actually means working not in the office. This in turn means you can be productive anywhere and actually enhance your focus and creativity. Just taking a laptop out with you and working in local coffee shops or libraries. This has a lot of advantages as compared with working from an office in your own home. For starters, when you work in a coffee shop, you get to leave the house. This is important because it psychologically separates your work life from your home life and makes it that little bit easier for you to switch off when you get home. At the same time, it also means you'll be taking some steps. Remember, it is recommended that we take at least 10,000 steps a day and failing to do so is bad for your heart, leading to a shorter life and causes obesity and back problems. Another benefit is that this way you also get to meet people. Again, this is quite an important point because spending all your time at home on your own can leave you feeling restless. By heading out to a coffee shop, on the other hand, you will get to at least be around other people who are working, and you'll get to interact with the baristas who work there. If you want to go one step further, you can also look into a shared workspace. There are lots of these kinds of initiatives around these days, and especially in larger towns. Not only do these then offer you the chance to get out of the house, but you'll also get to spend time with people who are there doing something similar to you. This creates networking opportunities and furthermore means the working environment will be entirely geared towards the kind of work you're doing. That means you'll get good Wi-Fi and peace and quiet is standard. Some shared workspaces even give you your own landline and P.O. box. There are other options for where you want to work too. For instance, you could always head to a quiet pub or even a bar, or you could sit outside when the weather is nice. Sitting outside is, of course, great from a health perspective, but unfortunately, it's somewhat lacking in terms of practicality and convenience. To do this well, you'll need to contend with glare on the screen, the lack of somewhere to sit and prop your laptop, bugs, dirt, grass, and no power or Wi-Fi. Still, though, perhaps there is somewhere near you that accounts for all this. Maybe you have a bar with some outside seating that's quiet during the day and faces the beach. The world is your oyster when you work from home. Imagine what it might feel like to be kicking back in a comfortable hammock, watching the waves roll or looking at a local landmark, sipping delicious coffee and feeling stimulated by your environment instead of stifled. Meanwhile, all your friends and family are stuck in stifled offices. The kicker? You'll do your very best work this way. What many people don't realize is just how profoundly our environment can affect our state of mind and thus enhance focus, creativity, and motivation. A change is as good as a break. Get out there and mix it up. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.